Hello everybody, welcome to Mr. PJ. Today's date is December 4, 2016. Our word for discussion is supernatural in Daniel 2.34. But as you watch, a rock was cut from the mountainside by supernatural means. It came hurling toward the statue and crushed the feet of iron and clay, smashing them to bits. 1 Corinthians 15.44 they're just human bodies at death, but when they come back to life, they will be superhuman bodies. For just as there are natural human bodies, there are also supernatural spiritual bodies. Hebrews 4.12 For the word of God is living and active, sharper than a two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. In James 5.16, Therefore confess your sins one to another, and pray for one another, that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Define this is related to or being above, beyond the natural, unexplainable by natural law, or phenomena abnormal pertaining to characteristic attributed to God or a deity. In the ancient times, Israel believed that the power of God was supernatural. What Jesus Christ did at the cross, freeing us from sin, was supernatural. When prophecies as the vision Isaiah received on the birth of Jesus was supernatural. The Red Sea and the Jordan Rivers were divided supernaturally by God for Israel to cross on dry land. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed day.